We've got a great act coming in. Uh, they've been here at uh, Die Laughing for a couple of years at least. How many years have you been doing this now? Where are they? Uh, fourth time. So fourth out of five. We've had, we, we had them here, so that is great. And they are about to celebrate their fifth anniversary, just like we are right here celebrating our fifth anniversary. They uh, perform on the third Wednesday of every month at Club Underground in Northeast Minneapolis. Doors open at 7, and the show starts at 8, and you can find out more information about them at punslam.com. So... I would like you to give a very raucous, die-laughing welcome to the Pundemonium! Aha, hello. Uh, welcome to Pundemonium. Uh, I'm Art Allen. I am the host and creator of Pundemonium. There are so many of you here. This is wonderful. Uh, so uh, what we're going to do first, this is Donovan. He is going to uh, hand hello. out uh, judging scoreboards. Uh, if you would like to be a judge... Uh, in this pun contest, uh, scoring people from 1 to 10. Uh, raise your hand, and then he will give you a whiteboard and a marker, and uh, you, step, you, step, yeah, okay. you have to step off the stage. All right. Oh, God, this is going to be, this is gonna be delightful. Um, trying to see what the scores are when I cannot even see literally anything. Um, so, uh, <laughs> uh, has anybody, by round of applause, been to Pundemonium before? Oh, cool. Uh, that's uh, very flattering. Thank you all so much for coming out uh, this afternoon, I guess. Uh, we have three rounds of pun competition uh, today uh, with five competitors. So what happens first in the first round is all five competitors come up on stage one at a time, and they have drawn topics ahead of time, and they have been scribbling furiously puns based on these topics, they will have two minutes on stage to tell you puns based on their topics, and then the judges, who now all appear to have whiteboards, uh, will give them scores from one to 10. And uh, Donovan, my co-host, will record those scores. And then we will go into round number two, which has all, uh <laughs> Donovan is making himself at home. Um, Round number two has all the same contestants coming back in the same order, but instead of having whatever, an hour, 45 minutes, whenever they decided to show up uh, to think about their topics, um, they will have 30 seconds on stage while we stare at them. Uh, and then another two minutes to make puns based on their new topics that they have drawn from this cup. Uh, it will be weird, um, and I don't know, we'll... We'll all suffer through it together. Um, and then, uh, depending on... Hey, Art. Yes. How do I sound? What? How do I sound? Uh, terrible. Oh, good. Um, <laughs> no, you sound great. I can hear you. Uh, everyone can hear Donovan. Excellent. Thank you. Always good to do sound check after the show starts. Um, so, <laughs> so uh, and then the top uh, contestants will, uh, the top scoring contestants it will go on to round number three, which is a shared topic, head-to-head uh, -head pun off. So, um, without any more uh, explanation, does everyone understand what's happening? Yeah. Does does not matter. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Yes, we are uh, going forward with this anyway. Um, I have not planned, I have not blocked where I'm going to be, so, uh, let us start with some puns. Donovan, uh, if you could help us, who is the first contestant in round number one? Well, the first contestant in round number one is Jason. <laughs> All right, here comes Jason, everyone. Welcome, Jason, to the stage. Hi. Uh, hi, Jason. Uh, you look adorable. Yeah, people paid $1,000 to make me look this adorable all weekend. It's great. <laughs> Uh, okay, Jason, uh, why yes. don't you tell us your topic, and then you have two minutes to make puns about it. Uh, my topic is milk. <laughs> Just start. Go ahead. Jesus! How dare he try to milk you for all your hard-earned cheddar? This whole thing skimming off the top is just like the 2%. Oh, mund! This is soy rotten. 
cannot believe how utterly this stinks. I just want to cream him if I could only find a way. It just makes my stomach churn. You butter Bree leave. We're gonna get him back Gouda. How could he be such a monster? We're gonna get Colby, Jack, and Nacho, and we're gonna show that coward how spoiled he is. We're gonna take him on an expiration date, then we'll see who's feeling blue. That curd is in for some cereal condensed beating. When we're done, he'll be powdered. The ball's in our court now. And we'd better get a move on before our chances are evaporated. Lack the lactose before us, we'll gallantly goat forth. All right, thank you, Jason. Uh, there we go. Uh, okay, judges, let's uh, let's see some scores. So, uh, how we do this, uh, judges? Usually, it's a, a today, especially a score from one to ten. You can do whatever score you want. So, uh, the first score is an eight. Second score is a nine. Over here, I see another eight, a seven, and a seven in the back. What does that say above there? Is it just get ah, very good. Uh, so, uh, Jason, everyone. <laughs> All right. So that is uh, more or less how this works. Uh, it's going to be more of the same. So that was, ju that yeah. was just a dry run, right? Now we yeah, can actually get the yeah, show yeah. started. So that was the, that was the bad example. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, that's um, uh, what I should say is it's probably not going to get much better than that. So um, a woof, double woof. Uh, how about this? I have no idea what's going to happen. None of us have ever lived these coming moments. So uh, how about that? Um, our, uh, we've, we've gone off the rails. Okay. We, uh, who is our next contestant? We're going to need uh, Kyle to report to the stage. Kyle. All right, here he is. This morning, uh, Kyle hosted uh, erotic fan fiction, The Game Show, uh, where uh, Pundemonium co-host Donovan won first prize. <laughs> Um, I will not, because this is a daytime, daylight show, uh, reveal any of the details. Uh, but, it, yes, it, um, it was, it was, uh, it was a, packed. it was a towering performance. Um, so, uh, Kyle, uh, you, you say he arrived with a vengeance? <laughs> uh, three times. Uh, go ahead and tell us your topic and then you have two minutes. All right. So. I'm, I know most of you think I'm good at punning because that's my reputation. I did. I have slept one hour in the last 72, so we'll see how this goes. My topic is tacos. I'm about to shell you with some puns. It's going to be hard for you, and I'm not going to go soft. But it's been a long time for me. Okay, so that was a lie. I set the flower low when it comes to wordplay, but I don't want to taco about it. I'll get started soon here. Sorry to burrito around the bush. This is not your everyday competition. I walk one of those pieces of advice. I, Avocado, don't judge me. I understand your chillied response. Wordplay doesn't always guacupy the same comedy that has led us here. Instead, we should celebrate how amazing wordplay is. Sure, we'll never be as literary as, say, Tequila Mockingbird. <laughs> Nor does a good play have to be a one in a million. <laughs> Wordplay often borders on garbage. But it's always satisfying when going according to flan. <laughs> Doing... <laughs> Doing slams like this isn't some kind of magic. I don't have any hex mechs to defeat my opponents. <laughs> Nor is this some uh, kind of uh, sideshow operated by carnitas covered in horrible moles. <laughs> 
Well, I'm almost done here, but first I want to take a pollo of the audience. <laughs> Is wordplay gonna going to talk over the world, or is it a case of here today, con tomato? Uh, you, can, you can head back. I kind of like it when they get to stand up here and receive their sentence. Yes. Well, all right. Well, he's back. Yeah. All right. Yeah, get we're out of here. We're, we're doing it different today. All right, now go stand over there. All right, now back over here. Okay. Now everyone point. There's only so much uh, uh, I can abuse him. So, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, judges. Uh, first score I see is a nine and an eight in the back. I see a six in the back, an eight, and a six up front. Uh, I got a burrito audience, I guess. Uh, Kyle, everyone. <laughs> So Donovan, uh, you have all the scores. I have all the scores I require for Kyle. And so then why don't you tell us who our next contestant is? Oh yeah, that is my job. Uh, I would like, uh, right here, right now, uh, James to report to the stage. Yes, James. Okay, hello James. Hello. Have you slept today? Uh, one more time, my mother was yelling at me. <laughs> have you, ha, have you slept today? What day is it? Uh, no. So the answer is no. Yeah. Um, okay, James. Uh, why don't you tell us your topic? And pants. Then, pants. Yes. Two minutes. Here's the skinny. Hmm. I took a belt earlier. Don't trip. I won't breach our contract, leaving you in suspenders. I know that would chafe. Or at, at least it chaps. Time's wasting, so I better exercise my indemnable rights while I have a leg to stand on. I've got a few of these in my back pocket, and the rest will be off the cuff. Why front? I'm not worried about capriciously zipping through them. Yet I figure they'll increase before my set is completed. Time will seem to fly once I've got teeth seated into my material. That way, if I wash out hemming and hawing, at least it will be a relaxed fit. I'm a common ass at best, so I would never be so gaucho nuts to not button up eventually. It's not a warped pogram, it's just a joke. I'm trying not to guss it up. Yet, if you feel it's time to leave, I need not seek an injunction or wrangler, but listen with fascination when you say, yoga, hi, sits over. Time to saddle up and leave the ballroom. A stitch in time, they say. <laughs> Thank you, James. Our first very quick score for James Whoa. is a 10. Whoa. A four star 10. I see a second 10, oh, wow. a third 10, a fourth 10, and a nine. <laughs> so close. <laughs> I'll be well, goddamned yeah. if that guy's getting yeah. a perfect score. Oh, no, that's fine. I love you. <laughs> So oh, I think... Uh, I'm taken aback. No fair changing your scores, judges. <laughs> All right, do you want to have any sort of conversation with your mom right now? Just like while you two are here. Mom, it's time to come clean. I'm, I'm a comedian. This is I, I, such a public way to do this. <laughs> it runs in my jeans. There it is. <laughs> Thank you, James. I could not plan that better if it was scripted. That was really good. <laughs> okay, Donovan, uh, you have all your scores. I have you all require. my scores. Okay. Uh, um, do we I have other contestants? Yeah. I imagine, maybe. 
we have another human being that uh, probably would be best served coming up here. Uh, if I get uh, Scully to come up to the stage. Here he comes. It's Scully. All right. Some good lukewarm applause. They're not, not too sure. It's okay. I need lu it lukewarm from here. <laughs> Fine. That was a freebie. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Judges. Disregard. Yeah. Stricken from the record. <laughs> Do not consider. Okay, judges. Uh, I don't know why I'm talking to the judges still. Okay, Scully. Um, what's your topic? My topic is funerals. All right. Uh, first of all, James, that was marble us. It's real good. Okay, I'm going to try not to be too Karen-y here, but... Uh, Listen, I love goth girls, all right? I, I don't go for those wholesome, blonde, you know, Reese Witherspoon types. Reese? Yeah, okay. All right, okay. We'll let them walk out to you. Uh, <laughs> no, I dated one like that, but uh, when she left me, I burned all of our photos, you know, on an expire. But, you know, a girl with mascara streaks on her face just kind of turns me on. I mean, I, I call it morning wood. Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, really, sadly. Um, you know, give me a girl in striped stockings and black lace. That is one sexy mother. Oh, I'm sorry. I almost dropped the M balm there. Sorry. Um, but, you know, what more can I say? The, the last goth girl that I saw, she made me dizzy. I felt like my head stoned. She gave, it's their puns, they're not supposed to be good. She gave me a coffin fit. And I, <laughs> I just kind of floated along in her wake, you know. And uh, you know, of course, of course, I tried to play it cool, you know. I tried to shroud my intentions. I had to hide how much I wanted to just drop trow and let my decompose a masterpiece in her honor. But, but finally, I asked her her name, and she said, "Ella, Ella G. Who are you?" Well, now, I was kind of embarrassed. See, I have this dorky gamer nickname. It's Donkey Kong. So I decided to go by my initials, and I said, it's DK. <laughs> I'll be honest, you're a very attractive to me. <laughs> Would you maybe cemetery with me for a while? But she suddenly got really serious, and she backed up three feet. She put this graveyard between us. <laughs> and I could tell my chances had flatlined, you know? I'm, I lost my will to continue. So I walked away. I was broken inside my body whole, but the rest in pieces. What do they call Babe the Blue Ox? The pallbearer. Is he ri Paul Bunyan rides on uh, the ox's back? Does he ride it, or does he just get followed around by it? If he doesn't, he's it. an idiot. Uh, <laughs> Um, you have an ox, you're gonna ride it, right? <laughs> like, why else? You don't have an ox follow you around just to feed it? No, you ride an ox. All right. Uh, uh, Paul Bunyan philosophy. Um, that is what this has become. Okay, judges. An eight here, a nine, a seven in the back, a uh, <laughs> gravestone. That uh, underneath the gravestone, uh, which is common, uh, says, here lies Scully. Uh, and it's an eight. Uh, and then a nine up front here. Thank you, Scully. <laughs> Donovan, you have all those scores? I have all of our scores, and I'm ready for our next contestant, Dirty 30. Dirty 30! Here he comes. <laughs> so, silence comes over the room. Like, did he say a name? All right. <laughs> Judges, disregard. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it is against the Pandemonium Charter. What? Ladies. <laughs> Wait, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Can you, can you spin around? I prefer my phone. Okay, no. <laughs> uh. Can you please turn it inside out for the rest of the day? <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, Dirty 30. Yeah. Uh, so I should My real name is Kyle, by the way. Yeah. Just so, like, uh, my there mother already, didn't name me Dirty 30. There was already another Kyle. Um, 
And so this Kyle, Kyle number two, came to Pundemonium for the first time on his 30th birthday. Three um, years ago. Which was three years ago. Yeah. Two or so I'm 33. Years yeah. Um, In case that math changes things, ladies. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, two, 33, two threes, uh, that's six, ladies. Um, <laughs> this is a great segue because my, cat, my category okay. is math. All right. Math. Uh, can you believe that? Yeah. What, Man. what a coincidence. All right. Uh, so, uh, dirty 30, uh, two minutes. So it's. 2.53. What a prime time to do math. <laughs> Puns. <laughs> okay. Uh, God, I can't believe the weather we're having. It's like, t- what, 24 degrees? It's just, it's not acute anymore. Okay? All right? I know that's the angle I went with. I know. Of all the choices. I'm going off on a tangent here. Sorry about that. Uh... I mean, math puns, there's just a cosine of things to come, right? Like, we're just moving right along. You guys ever seen Bill Clinton's vice president dance? He has algorithm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. I did. Uh, I mean, I, I never really liked math. I mean, my geometry, my geometry class was so boring, it was full of squares. To be fair, the talent here is unparalleled. Unparalleled. Math. Uh, I was outside, I saw this musician walking down the street and, um, and he had all these followers and they all had numbers. It was like three, one, four, one, five. It was the Pie Piper. <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah, we're having fun. We're having fun. Uh, just, <laughs> just to sum it up, okay, just don't, when you leave here, don't drink and derive. Yeah. That's a math pun. <laughs> I'm really counting on all of you to have a good time. Donate to the cause so they can add to their budget. <laughs> math! <laughs> That's all I got. I got here pretty late. All right, Dirty 30. Kyle number two, however you know him. Um, also, any uh, former Bulldogs, UMD, <laughs> national champions last night in hockey? Let's go. <sighs> was that I don't, a pun? I don't think well, it was just educational to the audience. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we can all be well-rounded human beings. All right. All right. Settle down. Settle down. We have to do scores. Uh, not sports scores, though, to be clear. All right. So up front, I see an eight. That's a zero with a belt on. <laughs> Puns. Good, good point. Uh, all right, in the back, five plus five equals ten. Math. A seven here, a little more sensible. Uh, another eight. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> and a nine in the back. Uh, dirty right. thirty, everyone. Uh, so, yeah, thank you. If you uh, were keeping track, that is the end of round number one. So uh, let's get a round of applause for all of our contestants who are doing very well so far. And I say so far because that's about to change. Um, we I'll have awful. <laughs> we have round number two uh, right now, which is uh, sort of... The improv round, I guess, or the lightning round, I don't know. They get two minutes uh, to make puns again, um, except this time they're drawing pun topics from this cup. They don't know what they're going to draw. They don't know what puns they're going to say. In, you know, in 30 seconds on stage, they will think about puns, and then they'll just get up at the microphone and stare at you. Um, Hopefully they'll do more than that. Well, yes. Though I have to say, uh, having done a competition once here, uh, not here, here, but uh, with Pandemonium, uh, I did draw uh, a prompt, and I had no idea what to do with it. And so I did spend all of my two minutes just staring at the audience. (laughs) Uh, uh, Yeah, I mean, that's an option. Um, Don't do that, though, contestants. Don't do that. So, audience, uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of authority here. Um, If... You feel uh, uh, that the contestant is struggling. We do uh, encourage heckling. Good-natured heckling? Uh, Good-natured heckling in pun form only. 
So if, if it's not in a pun form, uh, you are ejected from the audience. Yes, and we take all of your money. I mean, and that's just that's just robbery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and your shoes. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, if you puck, if you heckle in non pun form, you will be robbed of your money and shoes. Okay, uh, <laughs> we, so we should we should get we should get around to uh, uh, yeah, round two yeah, yeah. This, this this game uh, instead so of like veiled threats of uh, not violence. veiled, <laughs> not veiled, explicit threats <laughs> of exactly which items we're going to take. All right, uh, our first contestant in round number two, please. All right, we need Jason pl uh, once again. All right, all right. So now, Jason has thirty seconds to think of his topic. 30 seconds is complete. All right. Tell us your topic, and then you have two minutes. Art supplies. <laughs> so I'm just going to canvas this entire uh, topic and let me paint you a picture. Uh, I'm hoping that a little bit later after the show, some of you can pencil me in for uh, something. And... <laughs> Uh, I hope that your schedule is open, and <laughs> don't just brush me aside, okay? I... I find this unpalatable! <laughs> <laughs> it is so evil, isn't it? You're a real modge podge of a human being. <laughs> you know, Why don't you laminate that mouth of yours? <laughs> Sorry? It's on tape. It's on tape. Uh, does anybody else have a needle point to make <laughs> along the same thread? I feel, I feel just like charcoal up here. I am so burnt. <laughs> I wish I could just erase her this entire set. Art, you put it in paper mache order. <laughs> Why'd you crochet a hen? <laughs> so let me spin you a yarn. <laughs> and... That's two minutes. Thank God. <laughs> All right. Okay, judges. Art supply puns. That got, that get, that got aggressive. Yeah. Yeah, adversarial. But he missed one. Poster board, I hardly know her. All right. So that was a five. A six. A seven up front. Um, is that like a, a creatively drawn six? Uh, <laughs> it's Kling free. It's an art. All right, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it says audience eight, Jason seven. Wow. <laughs> the audience is now in the running for the <laughs> final competition. So the audience, uh, so this is a score-based game. The audience is now uh, under threat of having to everyone come up to participate on one side of round number three. Um, okay, well. That's, I, that's all the scores okay, I Okay, thank you, uh, Donovan. Jason, everyone. Donovan, who's our next contestant? Our next contestant is a fellow you may recognize from earlier. Uh, it is Kyle. I hope that I hope they recognize all of the contestants from earlier. Um, it is three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I mean, maybe you guys are just like still raging from last night. I don't know what's going on. Um, so I have a raging from his story. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> this why? Okay, thirty seconds. Stop. Let's call that thirty seconds. All right, all right. Kyle. Uh, tell us your topic, and then uh, let's do two minutes. My topic is on the playground. 
So I thought I was going to need a recess to think of more topics here. Uh, my brain's kind of in a ring around the rosy trying to figure it out. But uh, the ideas will just red rover, red rover, send the ideas right over. Uh, I'll slide right into it and swing for the fences. Uh, uh, a, my chances in this competition are seesawing back and forth as the minutes go by. Uh, but uh, I'll just ring toss some more uh, ideas out here to you. Uh, but uh, it's, it's no picnic, you know? Uh, it's, a, it's a shelter for ideas. Uh, you know, uh, you could, you know, just bury it all in this. Quit <laughs> monkey bars eating around. I'll just bury that one in the sandbox. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm kidding, though. I'm kidding, you know. Uh, <laughs> so uh, uh, it's, it's, you know, uh, something you don't necessarily go to school for. But <laughs> you <laughs> 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 so, this kind of thing should be exactly in your field. I think I need to tag out, per perhaps, here. Uh, yeah, yeah uh, I, I feel like with all this animosity, I want to go hide and seek something else out to do. Uh, uh, but, uh, uh, you know, maybe we'll just... Uh, I'm sure you can tag a pun anytime soon here. Uh, you know, it's, uh, uh, if I had a horse, I could play some Marco Polo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Go back and forth with us. Have a volleyball. <laughs> uh, I don't know. That'd be a bad mitten idea. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you're being real. Everyone here in this room is being real shuttle cocks. <laughs> and that is two minutes. <laughs> All right, judges. Your time to shine. I would like to see scores for the judges, too. I wouldn't really. Donovan's not going to write him down. So no. I see a very fancy nine, or a nine with a very fancy border. Um, an eight. It's a, it was a normal nine. Don't get excited about the nine. The border <laughs> was fancy. Um, an eight there. A seven, a seven, and a seven. <laughs> Kyle, everyone. So Donovan, who is our next... Contestant. Next contestant is James. James, James, James. James, James, James. <laughs> All right, there it is. James has 30 seconds to think about his topic. 30 seconds is complete. Oh, it's so short. <laughs> I got cigarettes. Two minutes. Oh. All right, well, smoke them if you got them. I'll try to pack some in here. All right, uh, that's the American spirit, right? Okay. All right, everybody, we need to go outside 20 feet from the building to tell these. Uh, but uh, I don't want to look like I'm a bum up here, okay? Is that your unfiltered opinion? I, keep it up and I'll be tarred and feathered. I believe you can't, sir. You're crushing this. <laughs> Look, I'd walk a mile for a camel or that joke. Oh, but that would mean I've come a long way, baby. Oh, thank you. Uh, I feel like I'm very slims up here. Oh, stop chewing the scenery. That was a cherry joke. I'll ask you for another one later. <laughs> <laughs> you look tight, you're just puffing up there. Oh, yeah. I'm Trey, Trey Sleepy. You park your ship in a new port. Oh. <laughs> well, this is, this is a flavorful exchange we've got here. Oh. <laughs> no, no, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, 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 but uh, I'm a little afflicted. <laughs> I haven't got the lungs for this. That was a sweet bird. If you stop, puff, puff fast, man. 
No, these are, but all of mine are hand rolled. Kind of a joint effort at this point. That is two minutes. All right. Uh, before we do scores, uh, where does. We'd David like to thank our sponsors, where? Chesterfield Cigarettes. <laughs> Nine out of ten doctors agree. Where does Baby the Blue Ox buy all of his clothes? At the Pall Mall. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, thank you. That's a no Winston situation. Uh, I just wanted to make another Paul Bunyan joke. Uh, Oh, good. good. It's not good in this mall borough. (laughs) Uh, So, judges, let's do some scores. (laughs) <laughs> audience nine uh, James eight audience is doing great audience nine James seven oh. a nine uh, with a line under it so that I know it's not accidentally a six that I'm reading upside down um, an eight and a nine uh, and feedback you know we usually don't have audiences as helpful as this one. Yeah. Can the audience give itself a round that, of applause? That was... You're doing great tonight. Yeah, that's, that, was, that's, that was great. It went by quit. <laughs> um, so, uh, I think we have more contestants. Yes, we do. Uh, I'm going to need, right now, front and center, Scully. Here he comes. Scully, you may recognize him from before, when he was here before. In this very show, just like before. So, <laughs> draw the topic. Go back, knock down. So nervous. All right. Now I'm really nervous. 30 seconds. 30 seconds has transpired. Go ahead and tell us your topic in two minutes. All right, my topic is Canada. And let me be honest, I don't want to do it. Um, Alberta, that not, not anybody could come up with good puns about Canada, right? I mean, there's, it, I'm just waiting for the Calgary to come in and rescue me. I, I you know, I'm going to try to mount up and really deliver something good, you know. Uh, Listen to the audience, you may pull something good. <laughs> I really bob and dug that, thank you. <laughs> what? I feel like I've been getting kind of hosed by the audience, but that was hoser than I was expecting. That was a little strange. I mean, I understand that naming provinces and cities is like the hot key to making a good joke. But I'm really <laughs> shitty at geography, so look, my goal is just to fill this whole time. You know, I'm just trying to just trying to make it Wayne Gretzky on you. Uh, Should we translating these into French? <laughs> <laughs> Mais oui, s'il vous plaît. Yeah. Les jokes sont pas français. If the audience says K, K back at them. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm gonna need some help. I would say I'm at your Quebec and call would be the joke. That's kind of Montreal I have to say. Somebody probably already hit that before because there are only like 12 cities in Canada. It's not like there's some newfound land out there that's gonna... <laughs> Honestly, I'm pretty, ha- I'm pretty sure that I'm going to Vancouver everything Woo! that I can think of. Oh, that was very nice. I'll take that one. <laughs> I think, sir, up here is where you need to be. <laughs> that- <laughs> the audience will stop. Are there, that's two minutes. Okay. I was just about to say something about bare naked ladies. Uh, uh, well, we were all thinking it. That was a decent Alanis Morris set. That's not for score. That's just for pride. <laughs> okay, judges. Uh, Canada. You ought to know. Uh, Coulier, your jets. Yeah. All right. 
<laughs> audience 10. Let's go at least seven. Okay. <laughs> audience, audience, you can stop jacking yourself. Uh, so let's see. We have an 8A in the back. Uh, an audience 7, Scully 7. Oh, Real nine. competitive. Uh, a 5 and a 7. All right. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay, judges and everyone else. I don't know why I keep addressing the judges. Uh, the yeah. judges are really the only people we care about, you know, to make the show function. The yeah. audience, you know, you don't, you don't need to. All you right. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. uh, for the uh, final contestant of uh, round number two, I'm going to require Dirty 30. Dirty 30. This one. Yes. All right. Dirty 30 seconds. I All right, go away. Nod. I saw him nod. That means yes. They're getting married, everyone. Uh, <laughs> nice. Okay, uh, so Dirty 30, uh, go ahead. I guess. <laughs> uh, why don't you tell us your topic, and then uh, you can... Ha <laughs> uh, farming. Yeah, so this means you need to... This sort of cheating means you need to take two, two points off your scores, judges. Take it easy. <laughs> yeah. All right, farming, two points. Oh, man, my voice is a little hoarse after last night. Um, Tractor. I hardly know her. Uh, that's for that one was for art. Um, yeah, I mean, essentially, farming. What do we know about farming? Take, take it easy. That was a setup. My gosh. <laughs> These are a little corny. I know they're a little corny, but uh, you know, you reap what you sow. Uh, uh, cow jokes, pig jokes, um, what else? <laughs> I just, I just, really, just really ran ranch jokes. <laughs> uh, we could really build a, a, a fence. And, uh, every time. Beats. That's... I really don't even have an opportunity. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, let's see. Uh, pig joke. <laughs> um, insert vegetable joke. Um, some other pun about farming. <laughs> Air. Got it. Yeah, okay, got that one in there. Uh, we can definitely... So the farming industry as a whole, I'm just going to talk about the importance of what you need to do. Because with farming, the important thing is to make sure that you're constantly taking care of your crops, of your product, you're producing more than your resources. Farming is a very intuitive step that we all need to respect. Bullshit! <laughs> well played, sir. Well played. <laughs> farming. Right. Let's talk about farming for a second here. No, folks. let's not, because that's two minutes. <laughs> well done, all of you. I think we really learned something today about farming. Uh, that was very instructive ag, ag right. course. <laughs> the audience... Uh, Learning can they, be fun, too. The, yeah. They laugh high, but they sigh low. Mm. Hey now. Yeah, you're an all star. Get your game on. No. Farming. Oh, good, good save. That, yeah. That really brought that I joke back. right back on topic. I feel uh, like the okay. audience got a 10 on that one. They were really right. good. Audience so. 10, okay. dirty 30, negative 6. <laughs> <laughs> My. Is that a real thing? No, I, apparently you know. not. Plus 6. Dirty oh, 30. Geez. Um, a five in an increasingly fancy border. Um, uh, the vibe is still very normal. Um, in She'll the get back, there. They got time. Yeah, we have another five. Oh, that makes sense. Um, a two that looks like it might have at one time been a five. I think that's upside down. It is a five. <laughs> um, and then audience 12. Okay, take it easy. Oh, Dirty 33. Self. That's rough. 12. Know the scale. Yeah. Come on. All right. <laughs> 
Uh, so that is Dirty 30, everyone. Thank you. And this is the end of round number two. Um, uh, let's do another round of applause for all of our contestants. Because uh, the things, you saw them draw prompts and then just stand there. The things they were saying when you gave them a moment to speak uh, <laughs> were things that just came out of their minds at that moment. So uh, it is uh, very taxing to do this, um, unless you're an improviser and you're like, well, whatever, I just do that all the time. Um, it's hard for us to. Yeah, <laughs> whatever, complainers. Um, Jeez. So here's what we do. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting vicious at uh, improvisers now. So uh, Donovan is adding up some scores. Um, what we would normally do in a full-length pandemonium is do the top uh, four contestants uh, in a bracketed tournament uh, with a head-to-head -head shared pun uh, topic uh, situation where they, uh, two people have microphones and they just go and go and go. Uh, but today what we're going to do is I'm going to draw the final topic and we're just going to have the top two contestants uh, come out and do round three to determine the winner of Pandemonium Die Laughing Comedy Marathon V. Uh, you, v, you, v for Vive. Um, <laughs> you don't need to keep I, stalling. I have the. I have the. I'm not. Article. I'm not stalling for you. I'm stalling for me. Ah. Because I want to pick the best topic, and. Uh, Don't you just know what the topic is? Like have yeah. something in your back pocket. Um, it seems like you didn't prepare for here this, we go. Arthur. What is pre What is prepare? Um, okay, <laughs> Donovan. Hey. Yeah. Let's get on with it. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so this was a uh, very uh, closely uh, grouped uh, scoring here. Everyone is v in the audience is very generous up until the end <laughs> when the audience just got cranky. Uh, but uh, our top two contestants who are going to be competing against each other are James and Kyle. Uh, we're uh, performance partners at RinFest together. <laughs> For now. We, oh, we, we, they're plants! <laughs> Damn it! What? We, we do this to out. patrons for money normally. Okay. <laughs> Among you, other things. You can, you can, no. you can, this season in the RinFest right Festival, you can purchase pun torture for us for your friends. All right. <laughs> Give it to Fearless so we can make more theater. I have a topic for you two, and oh, I'm just okay. going to need you to riff on this. You know, you have all the time you need. Actually, no, only two minutes. Your topic is stringed instruments. Oh. All right, all right. I don't want this to come to violence, all right? All right? Cello! I, Cello! Get that out of your mind! Otherwise, we'll just bow out. I'm going to base this on something oh. else. <laughs> I resent that remark, okay? Oh. You're just going to harp on me all day, aren't you? Pianissimo, pianissimo. Liar! Liar! <laughs> and voila. Baby, it's grand. Oh. There's strings. Uh, where there's a will, there's a Steinway, okay? <laughs> I gotta fender you off for a little while longer. Oh. <laughs> this is not the heckling portion. <laughs> I, I mean, do you want to keep going or less Paul's gonna win? Oh, oh. I think I need, uh, I think I need a hand, Drix, you, from you, somebody. You think you're gonna slide guitar into this win? No, I'm gonna steal it. <laughs> Right off your lap. Banjo, you know something else? Man, I'm doling these out. No, no, no. Don't pick on me. Okay? All right? Your jokes are getting dulcimer all the time. Don't point that fingering at me, okay? Are you going to bow out? Oh, all right. The key 
to this, the key to this, is that we just stay sharp up here, all right? Yeah. Do you think we can orchestrate something else? Uh, our, our mind is our instrument. I, I think we're in symphony here. Well, look. No, no, no. No, we're going to play this upright. <laughs> <laughs> And note, note that we have not given up. And we're a lot sharper than you. We are giving our whole effort. We don't have anything cleft. That is two minutes. All right, audience judges, here's how this works. You are not going to give a numbered score. You are going to pick a human being who you want to win. I know, I always like saying it like that because it's way more dramatic than it actually is. So, uh, Kyle? One will live. One will also live. James. Uh, and then whoever gets the most scores wins. That's, that's the point. Uh, that's how it works. It's just based on this final round. Well, whatever. I don't, it, is, it is just what I don't, said right now. Yes. I don't check their work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, okay, so I see one vote for Kyle, a second vote for Kyle. All right. Yeah, yeah audience. Uh, the audience wins, everybody. No. Uh, Kyle takes it. <laughs> Kai Ames gets a vote. I have done this competition six times. Four times I have finished second. Yeah. One time I finished sixth. So I thought I was the bridesmaid of pandemonium for a long time. <laughs> so thank you. All right. Thank you all so much for coming uh, to pandemonium and to the Die Laughing Comedy Marathon. Um, uh, if you have not given more money to Fearless over this uh, hour. Uh, th now is a good time. We got some time, a little bit of a few minutes. Uh, so this is the end of Pandemonium. Um, if you would like, if you really do enjoy celebrating five-year anniversary things, um, in like a week and a half we have the Pandemonium. Wow, we're just really packing it in, aren't we? Yep. Packing, packing in the fives. Um, ladies. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yes, uh, so uh, Pandemonium is at Club Underground the uh, third Wednesday of every month. We are also in Madison and Milwaukee and Seattle. Um, for you people at home in Madison, Milwaukee, and Seattle. And for those of you who are allowed to tell your friends things that they <laughs> might enjoy. Um, so uh, please come to the five-year anniversary show and all other shows and stick around. I don't know what the next uh, act is. Um, the oh. That's what, that's what everyone is actually here for. They're just okay, catching Okay, well, uh, never mind. <laughs> no, uh, please stick around for that, and uh, thank you all so much for coming. I'm Art Allen, that's Donovan, and uh, we'll see you on uh, the third Wednesday of the month. Good night. All right. The Pandemonium. Let's hear it, everybody. Amazing. That was some amazing work. We really appreciate you guys being back here for your fourth year. Mm.